Alrighty, this is gonna be the last video on the last video of a chainsaw review on the as you already seen the home light saws on the other video, but now this time we're in the Husqvarna's. So <clears throat> my friend Chase Adams does have a Husqvarna 359. It was used in the remake saw in 2006 movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And, uh, but this is my dad's Husqvarna 450. He bought this brand new since 2006. And, uh, in 2010, this is what discontinued the Husqvarna 359. It was replaced by the Husqvarna 455 Ranger. It was definitely made in 2010, just like the other ones. But this one's a 19, 2019 model. But still new, but it's four years old. And uh, the barn chain is original. It's original barn chain. I used it, I used that one since the year of 2020. After when the corona hit. And uh, now this year I got two 455 Ranchers. The one that's got an Echo Timberwolf bar with a Timberwolf chain. And this one had a Farn Tough bar. But, uh, I guess I'm definitely starting to kind of, kind of like old Husqvarna 455 Ranchers. I really like the old one, which is a lot better than the new one. But, uh, there was a new, there was new versions of them out there now. But these are no longer that no longer in stock on Am on Amazon and Lowe's and Tractor Supply. Not by a long ways on these two. They're they there were the same saws, but they got different designs on them, different carburetors, and a different bars on them. Which is the gray, which is the dark gray Husqvarna bar and dark gray Farn Tough bar. But mine's got the original bar. It's the original with the original brand and different color on it. I really like the I really like the blue better. But I, it would have been neat. They would have bring the blue old stock bars back. And they changed the 24 inch bar with a tip on the front where you could change it out to a into a hard nosed 20 inch bar with a sprocket on the front 24 inch bar on it. And, uh, but these two saws were the same saws, but they were used in Texas Chainsaw 3D. One that had a chain on it, and one don't had a chain on it. And, uh, and the other saw they used in the Texas Chainsaw 3D movie was a steel MS-341. No, 441, which is it was used in the movie. But I hadn't filled this one up. I think I may bring that one with me when I get ready to cut firewood with Jim. And, uh, they, they start to run good, but, uh, I primed, a, I primed a little bit too much on the, on the 2010 model. But, uh, this one definitely leaks oil. It does leak oil on the floor. Just a little bit. But this one is definitely holding up very good. Now for the same one with a different carburetor on it. Now for the 450E series. 
No choke, just like on the big ones. Just the auto choke. They were very good saws and they, they got 20 inch bars, 20 inch chains. But uh, this is the one I learned how to start running a chainsaw, but this is the one I learned to start with. And uh, my dad teach me how to run these saws. It's been a good saw the whole time. But this is always my dad's chainsaw. My dad bought this brand new he bought that thing brand new since in 2006. And it's been a good saw the whole time. We used it on the farm right before we moved here. And it's just been a good saw. Then he bought a 2012 Husqvarna 455 Rancher. Which is, it burned up. He put straight gas in it by accident. But, a, but unfortunately it lost compression. But uh. Then he just went out and bought a new one. He bought a Husqvarna 460. And he replaced that saw. And I had this one since 2019. Right when in Christmas. In Christmas time. So um, he just definitely got me a new one instead. And uh. But you could definitely still get these on Amazon or Tractor Supply. And Lowe's, Tractor Supplies got them, including Lowe's and uh, Amazon. I'm not sure which place that's got them, but Husqvarna definitely still continues to make these. They're very good saws. And uh, these are farm saws. These are only used for farms only. But I use them on the farm all the time. I'm going to continue to use these on the farm the whole time. If if that one burns up, if that one if that one don't last long, if that one burns up, I'll just definitely continue to use that one. And I'll just definitely continue to use the Husky 450. And uh there's a difference on on between the two. It's got a it's got a side tensioner, make it a lot easier without using tools. But these two got clutch, clutch covers on them. Side tensioners, side tensioner bolts. You have to use screwdriver or tool, whichever, to get them off. But uh, I think I'm going to have to replace a spring on it in this one. Because the spring on it is definitely broke. But this one definitely works fine. I'm not taking that that apart. Only the other one I had around here somewhere, but which I'll show you after that. But uh, I'll go ahead and show you the other one at the parts pile real quick. Which I had on my dad's workbench. Here's the 2012 Husqvarna that he bought, and uh, it lost compression, but it don't have any compression on it no more. I'll definitely take the spring off of this one, because that one definitely works works fine. And I got a spare studs for it and a clutch. And a decompression valve for it. A spare decompression. <clears throat> but uh, it does not have compression no more. But uh, it don't have a compression on him anymore. But uh, you could put 
an old bar on it, make it look like a replica saw if you want. But this is the bar that I bent on the Husqvarna 450 by accident back in 2020. It was bent real bad right through here. And this bar was absolute junk. So this stuff goes into to the pile. But uh but these veins don't this one didn't run no more cuz cuz this vein's totally garbage. That vein's totally garbage and it didn't last long. But uh it's stuff we end up as for parts. It's not worth fixing. You could definitely use it as for parts. And uh which is that I'm gonna do use it as use it as for parts for the two for the two four fifty five wrenchers. So I think I may replacing the spring on it because the part saw has got a good spring on it. So that way it'll work the same just like this one. Like that. Well, <clears throat> there they are. My first saws I started with Husqvarna's and uh, I do got a Husqvarna 240 but I, it's at my dad's but I'll definitely get it back soon but I, I just let him borrow it for a few years but uh, I don't think he's ever going to bring it back but uh, I just definitely let him borrow it for a few years it's got a 14 inch bar and I don't have a lot of dogs it's a small saw, and uh, it's stuff we use for small, small stuff like cutting little pieces of wood. Just like the Husqvarna 450. So um, anyways, there's the last video on my Husqvarna chain chainsaws. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Alrighty, I'll catch you on, on the next video, maybe Friday. Alrighty, I'll see you later.